So we finally have one of the biggest updates of Android 15, which is called as Vanilla Ice Cream. This is one of the biggest update. Why? Because it brings you a lot of new changes. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. As you can see, new Easter egg is already there, but including this one, we have a lot of things to share with. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First one is predictive animations. I know it's quite common and you're already aware of this one, but in all the previous versions, you had to enable it from the developer settings. But in this case, it's enabled by default. When you reset or when you install this update first time on a device, you will get these predictive animations all the time. Also in screen timeout feature, if you increase the screen timeout, you will see now you have to verify with your screen lock, lock screen or fingerprint of course to verify if it is you or not. And this is quite interesting one. Open screen timeout, for example, I've chosen 30 minutes. I have to verify it's me. So then the settings will be changed. So yes, Android 15 is just focusing on a lot of privacy options, which are included this one, which are included in this update. So yes, quite exciting. Another one is, uh, which is actually one of the main highlights of this update is private space. I've already shared this feature with you in my previous videos regarding private space is coming, although it was not functional in those previous versions, but finally it's working, it's functional, and you will be able to use this thing on a device. You can hide or lock private apps in, a, of course, separate space. For example, just set it up, click on got it, you have the option to enable or use any other Google account if you have any or even if you don't want to sign in, it's totally up to you. If you want to sign in, you can sign in with your other account, which is not available, which is not signed in right now in this one. After that, just choose a new lock for the private space. You can also choose the existing lock from your screen lock, but that is, of course, that's not a good thing. Simply choose a different screen lock or lock for the private space, choose pattern, pin, password or fingerprint, whatever you want to for example in this case i will choose this one two three four just to show you that how the things are going on click on one two three four okay okay just a second after that you will see the option for i guess all set as you can see to find a private space and now just at the bottom you will see this private space kind of things available in the app drawer available in pixel launcher i'm not exactly sure if it will work with the third party launchers but of course it's just too early to predict that for now if you open these passwords Words, this is the UI what you have so private space is now setting up and you will be able to use it you also have this settings tab available where you can change the private space lock you can also delete that you can also hide the private space when it's locked and a lot more options available there a lot more things are available there you are definitely going to love them and yes this is one of the main highlights of the latest android 15 beta 2 some of the features are still missing from here but we will talk about that later on but for now the major changes which were in which private space was included there I just wanted to let you know as we were talking about some privacy or privacy options in security and privacy you have the privacy tab or section available privacy controls privacy dashboard and then private space also in the more security and privacy options you will see mobile network security and allow camera software extension some of the features which are actually part of android 15 now from a long time actually while network security was already added in the previous version as far as i know so yes things are quite amazing another thing is the volume panel i've shared a short video short video with you some time ago that the volume panel is going to be redesigned and it's finally redesigned as you can see it's officially redesigned now in this android 15's latest update so yes new animations new ui and now you can say it as kind of almost a full screen ui for your notification sorry your volume panel and yes uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below that if you like this one or if you don't like it or if you have any things any issues for example for this one like the for me i guess it's kind of okay okay it's not that great although we will be okay with this soon for sure because if it is available in everywhere you might get to you you are already addicted to this one for sure Adapt adaptive vibration is also present there it was there in previously previous versions too but now we have the different menu available for this automatically adjust your phone's vibration based on your environment it was not available previously it was there but it was just an option but with this new update we have new kind of menu available there 
also in some widget section we have some changes if you open widgets and you can click there now you don't need to drag and drop the widget to place it on the home screen so that's actually quite worthy also the widgets layout is a bit changed i guess it was already changed in the previous version but with this new version for example if you want to place any widget on the home screen simply click on that click on add and you are good to go that's also quite impressive and it works with every widget doesn't matter if you are using any specific widget it will work with every widget in the widgets in the widget section so yes it's quite useful it's available there in the latest android 15 update also if you move on to the settings options you will see the storage uh, option there now you have two options available in the system storage one is regarding for example it's still showing android 14 although we are using android 15 beta 2 but of course that will be updated soon now we have temporary system files option available so the ui is a bit changed or as compared to the previous version also the documents other things are a bit changed here in the previous version from now on also in the bluetooth section or the bluetooth tile has the option for automatically turn on again tomorrow this feature was not present previously but with this new update it's present there simply move out the also you can check out this thing by moving into the bluetooth settings here simply check out these connection preferences bluetooth you will see if you even if you turn off bluetooth you have the option to automatically turn on again tomorrow i'm not exactly sure how this will be beneficial for the users but it's available so just wanted to let you know another change or another thing which i found here is in the home screen settings you will find color contrast this is something amazing it was already available in the accessibility settings although but adding it in the wallpapers and style section makes it more accessible for everyone actually because everyone loves to explore the wallpapers and style ui to change the themed icons app layout etc so the color contrast is here if you want to use it you can simply move into the settings wallpapers and styles and then you can customize it you can choose the features default medium high it's totally up to you one of the features which is quite amazing is the save app pairs. So for example, I, as you can see, I just clicked one thing and I'm able to use the split screen automatically because of course the device supports that. But the reality is, for example, if I choose this app, I click choose, then click on split screen and I can choose any other app. By the way, that should support if it is not supported. For example, in this case, I tried this one. It was not supported there. But as you can see, now if I open this and open recent panel once again, I have the option to choose the name as save app pair so if that supports app pair like this one i've clicked just click once and i will be able to use the app pair directly right now from that screen so this is the option which is added in this version so these were the major changes the major features available major changes available with the latest android 15 beta 2 this could be one of the biggest update of all time actually to be very honest with you especially if you talk about android 15 all the previous updates so yes this is it these were things i just wanted to let you know if you're a pixel device user you can grab the download link right below the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care